the older son anyway. I took you out to a musical. That is our new symbol of freedom. You can still smell the fresh wood. Holy good old Do you guillotine. feel free looking at it? Individuals like us do not need symbols, but France does. Did you hear the news of the day? People are running around like headless chickens and yelling about Louis and his entourage escaping Paris. Oh, so we're up to that will not be enjoying the aroma of fresh wood for long. Monuments like that are not installed solely for the purpose of punishing thieves or lesser aristocrats. Great. I pissed off the revolutionaries a lot. And now to they're in command. Royal blood? Louis's flight was a stupid move, yet it seems it was planned. One of us will sacrifice him. That is, if they catch him. Ah. Is that why Louis visited us at the court? To manipulate us? Maybe deep in his heart he felt what the builders of the guillotine did. That someone has to be exposed as a traitor. Even if there is none. Am I going to preside over the court of the king? Because that would be really cool. My name is Antoine Quentin. Oh my god, you sound like such a twat. Citizen Fidel, my name is Antoine Quentin Farquhar de Tinville. I am a public prosecutor that has been assigned to assist at the tribunal court starting today. I don't want you, you've got an annoying name. I am uncompromising, although I hope that we quickly find common ground in happier news. The construction of the guillotine has been finished. Yes, we have seen it. The king is gone. Treason. Anyone with information about his whereabouts should immediately disclose it to the authorities. I feel like if we had gone to the march, we might have had information, but we don't. God, there's a lot of case files here, Jesus. Oh, they really don't like me. <laughs> they want to kill me. The common folk like me a lot, but oh jeez. Oh jeez. Jeez, Rick, they're gonna cut off my head. Oh, death penalty because of the guillotine is now possible, not just prison. Oh shit. Hierarchy, have I moved up at all? No. I haven't. Still exactly where I was. It's probably because I'm not really good friends with the revolutionary, so they're not upping me. Oh, what's this event? Bastille Canard. Third day of binge drinking and claims he saw you during a liberation of the prison. He is certain you were walking at the front of the crown. Most listeners just smirked, seeing him for the lush that he is, but there were some that believed him. Hey, the revolutionaries liked me a little bit because some guy was talking about me. Drunkenly thought I was there. Cool. I'll take it. Okay, so the revolutionaries and the common folk both want this guy acquitted. Interesting. Case file. Three pages. Okay. Five pages. Alright, cool. Compiled by Perry de Corn. Rape. Oh no, it's going to make me a quit of rapists and burglary. I'm not so concerned about that one, but rape, really? John Ibert, the famous street urchin who killed the governor of Bastille, Bastille de Lornay, carried his head on a pike and has recently been detained. Ha ha, de Quinn. Uh, after the triumph of the revolution, he reached Nadia of his life. Though many people still consider him a hero, they do not care for the... What is it? Parisian, oh, Parisian archives filed with complaints about thefts, robberies, and assaults on women. Right, so he's now seen as a hero. So they want his old record overturned. The current case is much graver. I've been accused of raping a 16-year-old girl, Alain de... Pontlaba. Charges were brought by the victim's father, Baron Thomas de Pontlaba. It's widely known that de Pontla was a relative and a friend of Governor de Laundry. Ah, so it might be trumped up charges just because his friend got killed. The crime alleged took place in the tenant tenement belonging to the victim's family, and John was detained by the people working outside while trying to escape the building. He gave 
uh, Elundi gave a written statement saying the incident took place on the holiday and John used the absence of the Baron and most of the servants to break into the tenement. Once he was inside, he entered her room and raped her. The incident was witnessed by Anne Michael, Aladdin's governess. It was said, it was she who alarmed the works about the disturbing noises coming from her child's room. A number of witnesses felt obliged to inform us that Anne Michael is known for her psychotic jealousy and her numerous romances with the people of France. With the people of France? Okay. Anne Michael's testimony. Usually in this morning, Miss Ellard and I read, and I read. However, the chef had that day off, so I was preparing tea when I heard her screaming. Ran to her room, but stopped when I heard a male voice. I was scared and asked for help. The results of medical examination. The examination of the following defloration. Defloration. I forgot that's a term, but yep. Minor attrition of the genital area. Bruising and hemorrhaging of the arm, spine, and face. So she was abused by someone. Was it him, though? Why does everyone want him acquitted when everyone's saying... Oh, because... Right. I forgot. Because the barons and noblemen and the common people and the revolutionaries right now are very revolutionary and dislike the nobles, so they don't care if it's justice or not. Crap. I don't like the idea of just allowing the rapists to go free, but I might not have a choice here, depending on the evidence. We'll see. Let's ask some questions. Well, with you, Jean. Please introduce yourself. Jean Herbert, the conqueror of Bastille and vanquisher of the tyrant of Delaunay, hero to all Parisians. You are accused of raping Miss Elodie de Pontebay. Daughter of Baron Thomas de Pontebla. Blah. Do you plead guilty? I don't plead anything. That bourgeois and her counter-revolutionary father are filthy liars. Oh, I can already see how this is going to go. We need to bear in mind the possibility of criminal collusion in the charges. That's right, those rich swine love their machinations. The evidence does speak against you. It is true, she could have been sleeping with someone else. It wasn't necessarily him. She may have just had sex with someone and he was just in the area. Alright, hold on, so... This, and to see... Um... So the building... Right, so he was accused of breaking in. So... Let's start with that. Oh, there's so many options, I could get it wrong in the area. Let's say, famous defendant, let's, let's ask about him personally. Do you know that Baron de Pontebar is a relative of deceased Governor de Laundry? No, but that explains a lot, the whole case was conjured up by them. He wants to get rid of me because I feed France from a tyrant. Freed. De Laundry's family should have executed long ago. So you would not call rape an instrument in the war against the monarchists. Monarchists should be decapitated and their daughters should be thanking the heroes of the revolution. Ah. Ah. I see. I see how this is going to go and the entire room is against what I'm thinking. Well, break in at the tenement. Method. How did you break in? Why would I break in? I used the back door. It was just open. I didn't know about the entrance. Baron's daughter told me. She also informed me that her beloved father, most of the servants, wouldn't be home. I see where this is going. She told you to visit her for that specific purpose? She was giving very clear signs. All aristocrats are horse. God damn it, the back row is so vicious. Now you say that you came the house at the invitation of the victim. That young Brit promised me a nice afternoon. She explained everything in detail. The judge is beginning to understand. Remain calm and he will soon let me go. Wait, now the jury is leading towards prison? But what he said just sort of goes with the whole she invited him. 
Um, what's this multiple complaints? Is that a trap? Oh, crap, not that one. Yeah, I don't remember anything about multiple complaints. Yeah, that's that's not one of them. Unless he brings something up. Alright, well if that's the case, if she invited you... Hang on. Testimony. Medical examiner. This one. Testimony. That's the trap. Preparing her tea, then I heard screaming. Uh, let's ask about the testimony. Uh, would I ask with her about the rape? Because if I ask with the wrong thing... Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! That's just the rape, right? Damn it. It's alright. I only lost one. Colin and Michael as a witness. Yeah, I'd like to speak with her and see what her temperament is and what this is about. What is your name? Anne Michael, Miss Ellen de Potter, governess. What do you know about the case? He's guilty and he should be killed. Wow. Okay. Thanks for telling me how to do my job. He used our relationship to get close to the Baron's daughter and hurt her. Wait. Your relationship? You mean? You knew exactly when the servants had a day off and when the Baron left for the legislative assembly. Did he learn those facts from you? He paid me several visits at the house. Did it not occur to you that he may be using the knowledge against the Baron's family? Did Baron know about your meeting? No, the Baron had more important things to worry about than the personal lives of his servants. Why did you neglect your duties instead of looking after them? That day the Baron ordered me to take care of the house. Didn't have any classes and spending your time in a room, okay? Did you not hear him enter the building? You were busy in the kitchen. I wasn't alert until I heard the sounds of a struggle from her and her screams. Kind of baffling that you did not hear anything. Can't explain that. I was making a lot of noise while cooking. Is watching the house not one of your responsibilities? Someone said something about her. Hang on. Witnessed by N. Michael and governess. It was she who alarmed the workers about the disturbing noise coming from the room. A number of witnesses felt obliged to inform us that Anne Michael is known for her psychotic jealousy and her numerous romances with the people of France. I think she was sleeping with him. <laughs> she thought he was sneaking in to see her. That's why he wasn't in. She wasn't in the room with the daughter. Interesting. But now I don't know where to go with it. Um. Pontivy's house. Um, I don't know. We know he was there. We already know he broke in. Did you do it because of that? To choose her as your victim because she's related to Londe. You already said you didn't know. Then why her? She was eager, young, soft-skinned, and very eager. You really want to know? Was initiating the intercourse? Who did what? Ah, yes, she did ask for me to caress her. Oh, she desperately wanted that. She dreamed about me for a long time. You're a creepy dude, but okay. So far, it I'm actually starting to think he may not have raped her. Might have just been rough sex. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It doesn't... It's... I feel like he's a creep and he's the sort of guy that would do it, but... So far, this isn't sounding like he's at fault. And anything other than breaking in, of course. <sighs> Famous defendant. 
Yeah, I feel like that's got to be relevant, right? Do you find particular pleasure in the abuse of women? Why would I abuse women? When there are nicer things to do with them, unless they like it. The victim wanted to get raped and beat? I didn't force her to do anything, and I definitely didn't beat her. Medical examination proved clearly that she was injured. But I asked to Ponte who battered her. He was furious when he found out who was in bed with his sweet daughter. Oh, that's true. I didn't think of that. He might have done it. Or even that Anne chick. They did say she's a very jealous woman. Aristocrats do worse things than beat their own children. Oh, we've pushed the jury back to opinion of acquittal. Ah. Huh. Damn it. Damn it. Caught in a trap. Oh no. That's bad. Yeah, I think I might just acquit now. Death penalty. <laughs> Throw a curveball and kill him. I fell for the trap, so I'm just gonna acquit him. Protocol. Ah, oh, so those are the questions I didn't get to ask. How do I get out of this now? Oh, right, report. I have to do a report. Did the defendant confess to the crime? Well, no, because he said that he didn't rape her and it was consensual, so no, he didn't. He also said he didn't break in. He came in the back door. What made the defendant famous in the eyes of the people? Storming the Bastille. How did the defendant explain the signs of assault in the victim's body? Punished by the governess, her own mother beat her. He said that the father beat her. I think it was the mother, but he says the father did it. Did the defendant attempt to explain the background of the rape? He said the victim would initiate intimacy and first removed her clothes. And then I put my signature. And then we get the prosecutor's signature, I guess. The judgment for John Ubit is not guilty. Take the defendant away. His guilt was not clearly confirmed. The judge is one of us. Oh, thank God. Stop trying to kill me. They still really don't like me. I still have a long way to go before they hate me. Or before they uh, like me again. At least they got the jury on my side. So that helped. I keep getting influence points, but I haven't had an opportunity to use them since the prologue. Okay, this game is cool. I like this. Due to the establishment of the Revolutionary Tribunal, we need to prepare an official stamp. I was told to ask you, citizen, because President Doi is indisposed. How much did he drink? He was not able to say, shall we... Oh, I can design a stamp. Oh, that's cool. I actually get to design it. Yeah, I like the three dots. Top decoration. Who doesn't love the classic leaf? Yeah, I think we'll go back to the leaf. Probably top and bottom leaf. I like. I'm pretty sure that's the fascist symbol. Yeah, it is. That's fascism. Um, I kind of like that actually. It's like the Liberty Scales with a snake around it. There you go. There's my stamp. Thank you for your time. I know it's late, and the stamp should be ready tomorrow. Good night. Now how are we going to spend our evening? No one approached me today, I get to choose. Alright, so we impressed our son last night. We impressed 
the mother as well. Should probably work on the youngest son. We haven't done much with him for a while. The Yola concert. So I could take him to a concert. I could let him do a concert, I mean. Reading with the family. Opening that theory. Oh, so there's no play with the youngest kid this time. Let's do... You know what? I'll take the oldest son out again. I know we're focusing a lot on him, but we'll do that. He'll be happy. We're, we're taking him out. The mother's very happy. She really likes me now. And the younger son's happy too. And grandfather, not so much. We'll, we'll work on him later. I'm not as concerned about him. Hey people, good to see that some of you made it to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this content, there should be much more like it on my channel. Feel free to subscribe to see some more. Check out some of my links in the description. I stream on Twitch three, four days a week. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put some links for some other videos on the screen that you can enjoy now. See you all in the next one, I hope.